Welcome to Carly's Colorful Corner, where we will learn how to shade our panda using a side diagonal hatch. For this class, you will need a regular ballpoint pen or ink pen of your choice. With that being said, let's get started with our darkest dark which will probably be the pupil of your panda bear's eye. Now, our darkest dark is going to be created by doing line strokes very close together and eliminating as much white as possible. But as you're doing this part of your panda's face, make sure that you leave some white areas for your adorable shine spots. Now a side diagonal hatch is moving your pen in a slightly diagonal slanted fashion over and over as you move across your piece. This will give your panda a sense of unity if you are using something such as a shading technique all throughout your piece instead of just one area. So you're going to want to do the same thing with this eye. You're going to want to do it to the other eye as well. This tutorial has a fade in and fade out sequence. So in order to fit YouTube standards, I'm going to fast forward through some of these steps. And when I start fading out, that means I'm going on to the next step in the drawing. If you aren't ready yet, please pause before continuing forward. Now that we have the eyes done, we're going to move on to the nose and the mouth. If you want a more of a three-dimensional nose, make the top area of your nose lighter than the bottom area. You can do this by letting some of that white peep through in between your sideways slants as you're hatching through your bear's face. Or you can decide to do what I did and just do one solid shape because let's be real here, it is a cartoon-like bear. I'm not going to worry too much about realism for this piece. After we get our darks put in, it's going to give us the ability to kind of figure out the range between our lights and our darks. Your brain kind of needs a physical example to see how dark, dark it really is on your piece. Um, we do the darkest darks first to help us get a feel for how light or how much hatching we need to put in for our, our light toned areas. If not, our brain doesn't really have an idea of how far to go while we're shading. And we might accidentally put in too dark of a shape um, if we don't have that sort of range to look for. So this is going to give you an idea of how dark your dark is really going to go. I'm also going to add some hatching or some side diagonal hatch to the edges of my ears. I am not going to draw one solid outline bold line from one side of the ear all the way around. I'm actually going to shade or shadow in the shape of the ear using my hatching technique. I'm doing this because nothing in real life is truly outlined and it will also kind of give my ear kind of like a furry texture instead of one solid flat plane. So the outside of the ear is going to have some close hatch marks. Your marks are going to be close together. If you're dealing with a non-rollerball ink pen, I would even press a little bit harder down on your paper to kind of get that dark, thick kind of line that you'd want for the outer ear. And the inner ear, once you start getting to that, lighten up your pressure. Let the tip of your pen glide across the paper inside that heart shape that we have for the ear for uh, the example here in class. Now um, to get something a little less dark and kind of like a filler shade, you're going to want some of that white to peep through. So space out your lines a little bit. And once you're ready, we're going to repeat this step 
the step that we did with this ear, we're going to repeat it to the other ear. So it's kind of like algebra. We're doing to one side, we do to the other side. Now it's time to kind of repeat what we did with that inner ear. We kind of want that lighter shade out of the three shades that we have put into our bear. We don't want the darkest dark and we don't want the shade that's around the bear's ear. We want more of what the shade that we've already placed on the inner ear. We want that on the irises of our bear because it's going to make the irises pop from the white face of the bear, but it's also going to separate the irises from the darkest black that you have in your pupil. So make sure that you do not go too dark when you're doing this. And when you're ready, you can start moving on to the eyebrows of your bear if you have chosen to do eyebrows for your piece. As you're doing your eyebrows and your eyes, remember to keep a little bit of that white peeping through. Keep that shade kind of like a filler shade, not too dark, not too light. You also want to repeat this with the hearts as well for your cheeks. Um, if you decided to do oval cheeks, that's fine too. You just kind of want the cheeks to stand out from the face. This whole drawing is all about kawaii or cuteness, and they are commonly known to have really big heads, really big eyes, and these cute little pink patches on their, their cheeks. So don't forget to do your cheeks. Now let's start adding some shadow or shade to your bear's arms. You want to keep the chest nice and white. Uh, this is going to help you make you, your arm stand out a bit, but you don't want it to be like the pitchest, pitchest black because your inner eye is going to be, your pupil is going to be the pitchest, pitchest black. What you can do is you can make it a little bit darker than your eyebrows and your irises. And when you get closer to the bottom of your bear's arm, I would add kind of like a contact shadow or a thin layer of darkness or an extra layer of darkness to kind of make that arm pop out from the ground to give it a three-dimensional effect. Yes, we're doing cartoon style, but this is going to kind of make your bear pop from uh, the white background. So not only does it add shadow, it also adds definition and a bold outline to the edge of your bear to kind of make it look more archival or cartoonish as well. You can get this uh, darker dark by either pushing more on the paper or putting your lines closer together if you have more of a glider ink pen. Uh, but the main reason and the main point of this practice here is to kind of eliminate those white spots and make that darker outline uh, part of your arm less similar than the arm itself, if that makes sense. Now you're going to want to repeat this process for the other black parts of your bear and maybe for the white parts of your bear, kind of feather in that edge to help the belly separate from the ground. But I would leave your tail white, maybe a little piece of your stomach white. As you can see here, I kind of probably need to add another layer of darkness around the upper stomach and shoulder and spine of my bear. But you get the general gist of what you're supposed to be doing here. So that, my friend, is how you can make an adorable panda bear using pen and ink and a sideways diagonal slanted hatch. Um, and you can also, if you look closer to the body of the bear itself, like the belly area up into the spine and the shoulder, I did do a little bit of a cross hatch to specifically kind of add that second layer to make that area darker. Obviously, I need to continue to work on this, but you guys get the general gist of how to do this project.